Well, welcome once again, and thank you for tuning in. We know sometimes <laughs> it's painful, sometimes it's rewarding. Mostly the latter. But anyway, uh, Gilly, first of all, we've got to cross off on round 19. And, oh, yeah, and just, just talk about what happened and who won, yeah. perhaps. And uh, it would, yeah. would appear that... Well, it wouldn't appear. It is the fact that, well, that I actually won. You did. You won. I got four out of five. You got three out of five. Three out of five. You can't tip yeah. anymore. I'm on the road back. I'm probably going to really in the next couple well, of. Well, that's eight. eleven eight. So uh, you yeah. better get on your bike very quickly. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do that with <laughs> round twenty. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Our first game is Friday night. It is the Knights up yeah. against the West Tigers? Now, of course, the West Tigers got themselves a bit of a hammering at uh, courtesy of the Sharks, yeah. and the Knights are coming off a bye. We have both gone with the Knights, yeah. and I think that's been a common theme when we've been talking about whoever the Tigers are playing. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah well. Geez. Unbelievable, haven't they? The Tigers get mm. belted and then they win by you know mm. forty themselves. So, but uh, I think Carlin Ponga, you know, obviously playing very good footy uh, for the Knights at the and moment. And the fact he? that he, you get the feeling like he's he's slowly getting over these concussion issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he doesn't have to worry about rep footy. No. And so he's focusing on the Knights, and he is playing. He's playing exceptionally well. Isn't it, he? it is. He's playing enormous at the moment. Yeah, and I, and I think. At McDonald's Jones Stadium, uh, they'll be very hard to beat. Mm. OK, the first of our Saturday games, of course, is the Bulldogs up against the Bronx at Belmore. Yep. Uh, now, of course, the Bulldogs, they've been hard to pick. They've, oh. they've had a good win over the Rabbitohs. Of course, we're talking missing about a few. missing yeah, yeah, origin yeah, yeah, players yeah, yeah, and the rest yeah, yeah. of it. So yep. it's difficult to read that form. Yep. Yep. The Bronx coming off a bye. We've both gone with the Bronx. And I, and I think, really, if you given the Bulldogs and their inconsistent sort yep. of pattern... I don't think that's a stretch to think that the Bronx will get home. No, I think so, Webby. And hopefully their origin players uh, back up the yep. Bronx. Uh, of course, that's the other issue, isn't it, yeah, for these games? So exactly. Depending right. on who comes back from Exactly. Uh, Belmore. Did you get to play at Belmore? I did play at yeah, Belmore, yeah, yeah. yes. What a great yeah, ground. Yeah, and one the of atmosphere those, is great. Yeah, one of those brilliant suburban Sydney grounds. Beautiful. Like the likes of... Um, uh, Leichhardt and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Just really good league fields. Eh? Did, did the train come past? Yeah, they no, did. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. No, no, wonderful group. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, uh, the next of our Saturday games, of course, Manly up against the Cowboys. And this is where it gets a bit interesting, yeah, of course, because yeah. both these sides are coming off by. So yeah, they're both yeah. fresh and all the rest of it. So we're both, once again, we are, we are tipping. You're following my tips now <laughs> because you know I can win. Um, we're both yes. going with the Cowboys. But I think, you know, I know Man- yeah. Manly are there or thereabouts, and of course you have to see how Daly Cherry Evans yep, goes, yep, whether he yep, comes back and all the rest. Yep. So I think he makes a huge difference yeah. when he plays. You know, they don't have Trevojevic; he's out, isn't he? No, no, no. Well, yeah, it was a toss, toss up about him. Like, yeah. oh, well, Turbo's out, yep. obviously, yep. Um, but um, Jake Trevojevic yeah. uh, depends what happens in Origin, and obviously Ruben Cotter. Yeah. Um, so they're both, they're both, yeah, they're both influenced yeah, by yeah. it a bit, but we're both going with the Cowboys, yep. and I reckon. Um, yeah, tough enough at four points too. So that you're, yeah. you're in manly. Well, they got four four blokes backing up the Cowboys, yeah, yeah. hopefully. But um, oftentimes that can be a good thing, though. It is. Like sometimes I always thought that like, coming back from Origin actually took the, the nerves out of you a bit. Like, yeah, well, you, you uh, played a big game during the week and you think, well, okay, and time good, to go out and do my job. The thing I liked about it, you didn't have to train too hard for that couple of days, did yeah, you? Yeah, because that was always you. No, anyway, I love training. One, yeah. I love training. Well, but, well you, but just Wayne, said, Wayne, you just said you were no, happy no, not no, to train. It was, it was smart. It was smart foot. Smart on the coach's behalf before and the trainers because they used to look after you and get you fit and like this, you know, little, yeah, little, little nuances. Wonderful insights. Little nuances. Wonderful insights from Gilly get, here and, today. And the old days too. You, oh, here we go. You just talk about the old days. And you get a, and you get a massage and you just go, holy moly, a massage. Okay. When, when, you know, Righto. Was, anyway. Yeah, it's really good. Right, the other Saturday games, again, two sides who are coming off a bye. Uh, it's the Roosters up against the Storm oh, yeah. at the SCG, Gilly. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah the old bit of tradition man. there. Cricket ground. Uh, we've both gone with the Storm. And yeah. look, for me, and again, because we don't have form to pick from last yeah. week, because this competition, now we were talking about this earlier today, this competition has become a oh. week by week thing. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Hasn't it? So you, you sort of, you, I, I find myself tipping not on an overall sort of sense, no. but what they do the week before, because it's no. a bit of an insight on what they're going to do the week next. We said it at about round 10. You normally, you know, you can work out the teams. That, not, this, not this year. It's unbelievable. No. And obviously, uh, Tedesco um, is the main person for the Roosters backing up. And obviously Cameron Munster as yeah. well, you know. So, so hopefully those two back up, and we sit. Well, it will be a bloody beauty of a game. It'll be a good game, but yeah, we're yeah. both going with the storm. Okay, to our Sunday games, uh, the Warriors are up against uh, the Sharks. Now, of course, the Sharks they put a fairly decent score on yeah. the Tigers, if we just spoke about. Um, and the Warriors just put the eels to the oh, sword. I didn't see that coming. No, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And so we're both going with the Warriors, and I think you know. That's, that was a bit of a hard pick, really. I think, in some ways, the Warriors and the Sharks are a bit alike. They sort of, 
they're sort of looming, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, not really yeah. convincing anyone. Well, that, would you? No, no, that's right. That? No, I agree. And um, like, and not like the Auckland, obviously. Um, well, the Warriors, same thing. Um, they're they're a team that have surprised me a bit this year, and mm. they they've won like ugly, you know, four mm. or six points and 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 eight points, and then like, they put a score on someone, and then all of a sudden you go, geez, they're going better than I thought. Yeah, and I think they I think they are just slipping along. I reckon yeah. if they can time it to the end of the year yeah. when it comes about final time, if they're in a good enough position, they could do something. Well, the good thing about this period for the Warriors, this is where they can sneak up because yes. they've got no Origin players, yeah, 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 yeah. so they can sneak in. So they can get a few wins, so they're working. You're right. Yeah, right. Okay, the next Sunday games. This will be a good one. Is the Dolphins up against the Panthers? Mm. Now, it pains me to do this, but I have gone against um, mm. the, the the Dolphins, who who beat the Titans in what I thought was a very entertaining game. So you left them. You left them. I have. I've jumped off. Fair dinkum. <laughs> <like, laughs> you talked to me. Well, about I've got like, a taste of victory you now. Talk, you talked to me I've about had loyalty and stones. Yeah, no, well, I've had right? victory last week, and then I've and you know what? I'm intoxicated by it. I'm what's, intoxicated by what's winning. Da- what's Dad going to say? <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But let's say this yeah. about the Dolphins, though. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have won that game yesterday. No, no, no. They win it because they keep going. Yeah. They keep playing. And they have some good they, resilience. They, they, they have. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's a real trademark of a Wayne Bennett team yep. is that you, you won't always win, but very seldom do they yeah. not die trying. And but I think that's what, as supporters, that's what we yeah. all want to see. And the Panthers, though. I mean, how much backup have they got? I mean, they, mm. they're, they're lower grades, or obviously they, they win grand finals all the time, right? Mm. They're, you know, 18s, 19s, 20s, they, they win all They've the time. They've got tremendous the, depth. The depth is unbelievable there. Yeah, and you can get the feeling that they'll just keep finding them yeah, exactly. because they've got, they've got so many yep. to go back to. But, yeah, um, I mean, I'd love to see the Dolphins win, but I, I yeah. don't. I think that's too yeah. big a ask. Yep. Uh, and, of course, the last game of the round is Parramatta up against the Titans. Now, of course, the Titans, they lost by, by two points, and it yeah. could have gone either way. That one was in Golden Port, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And um, penalty at the end of the game. Ab- yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which and was a penalty too. Don't, well, don't and worry. that's the other thing. I, I heard some commentary around, you know, you don't want to see referees decide yeah, games. Well, you, A, you can't be in front of the referee and apparently called him twice. Yeah, yeah. And then still, and still, and Aaron still be Clark, offside. Aaron Clark was offside. Particularly, yeah. though, when it when it's golden point, yeah. when those two metres that he was trying to steal can yeah. make a difference to whether you can not get the right. field goal. Yeah, yeah. So I, he got... And it I don't was think, offside. You yeah. know, it decided the game, yes. Yeah. But he decided the game by making that mistake. Oh, very That's profound. Yeah, I oh, know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've got off me, I'll get off my high horse and back onto the eels. Uh, who were decimated by the Warriors, of course, by 36 points that we just discussed. Yep. Um, uh, the Titans obviously coming off that, 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 that short loss. Now, this is where we differ. Yeah, I've yeah, gone yeah. with the eels. And it's difficult to understand why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but only because I knew you'd go with the Titans. Nah. <laughs> and I sort of well, feel like we need some differences. Well, well, see, you didn't stick solid with the Dolphins, but, I mean, honestly, I... Yeah, oh, you, were gonna, you went against no, no. them last week. Yeah, yeah. Don't, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah. Oh. No, I didn't. Do not lecture me on loyalty. I the... But Do not lecture me on... No, you went against the Titans. You fought your Titans who you love because... They, no, no, no. I, you fought, no, you know, I, they sacked you. You've got to get past I went the Dolphins last week. You know, I'm talking about this week. the Titans. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, right on. You're right now. <laughs> but I'm just saying the Titans... See, how, if see the longer the year goes on, if the, four, the, the relationship is starting to fray a little. If the four... The four um, <laughs> Don't be tapping me. <laughs> if, the, <laughs> if the four Origin players back up for the Titans, I think they'll be very hard to beat. Mitchell Moses, Gutherson, mm. obviously for Parramatta. Um, if they come back, it's a different story, but... I just like Air Four Blakes. Well, back. mate, I'm just thinking that you know it's been a bit of a thing where the team gets bashed, they go out and do the bashing yeah. the next week. I, amazing, I think that's what Parramatta might do. Doesn't seem they ne- knock their conference around anymore, no. does it? No, not at all. Once no. upon a time, no. it would. Exactly. You'd be decimated for weeks on yeah, the back of that. Exactly. But anyway, that's our tips for round 20. Once again, I think you'd agree it was very insightful, <laughs> uh, not altogether. Any-